the teacher is the one speaking. Solve for x and y. The first simultaneous equation reads x plus y is equal to 17. The second part of that question reads x, y less 5x, the answer is supposed to be 32. So that becomes our second simultaneous equation. And you've been told to solve for x and y. What have I said? You need to go to the first equation that has x plus y is equal to 17. Then make one of those variables or letters to be the subject of the formula. Isn't it? Yeah. So I'll come and write that down. So I have x plus y is equal to? Which one can we make the subject of the formula? X. X. So shall we take y on this side? Y has its sign positive. Once it crosses the equal sign, it becomes negative. So we've made x the subject of the formula. We have made x the subject of the formula. So the expression that can help us to get x is 17 less 1. Y. So we are going to write down our second equation, which reads xy less 5x. The answer is 32. Where there is x, we replace with 1. 17 minus 1. Are we together? So we shall come here and we shall write 17 minus 1. Then what is outside? 1. Less 5 into, again, the equation for x, 17 minus 1. The answer must be 32. Wow. It looks nice, right? Mm. Maria, any question? Very good. We can proceed. We shall open the brackets. 17 times y. 17 y. Less. y times y. y squared. Minus. 5 times 17? 85. Without lying, right? Yes. Very good. Then, minus 5 times minus y plus 5 y. The answer must be 32. We can collect the like terms. We can say 17 y, isn't it? Then plus 5 y minus y squared minus 85. The answer is 32. 17 y plus 5 y without lying? 22 y, isn't it? Mm. Minus <laughs> y squared is equal to 32 plus 85. 85. So 22 y less y squared is equal to 32 plus 85. 117. Using a calculator, right? Mm. Very good. Without lying. Right. So we can actually take everything on this other side, isn't it? We shall take y squared on this side and as well take the 2y on this side. So what do we have here? 0 is equal to. We begin by writing y squared. It was negative, it becomes positive. Then this becomes minus 22. Then plus 170. We have formed a quadratic expression or equation, isn't it? Which formula do we use? We can use first the quadratic formula, isn't it? So we shall say minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared less 4ac and everything is divided by what? 2 a. Are we together? So, we can write down ax squared, the form in which a quadratic equation exists. ax squared plus bx plus c. So I'll come here, minus. What is my b? Minus. Negative 22. Close the brackets. Plus or minus? Minus. The square root of b squared, it will be minus 22 squared, squared, less 4 into what is our A? 1. Our C? 117. Isn't it? And we divide everything by 2 times A, and our A is what? 1. We assume there's 1 here, just as the coefficient of y squared. So minus minus gives us? So we shall have um, 22 as a positive number, plus or minus the square root of? What is 22 squared? 484. 484 minus 4 into 170 times 1 is 117. Then we shall say everything is over 1, 2. So 22 plus or minus the square root of 484 minus 4 times 117, it will be minus 468. Okay, everything is divided by 1. So we shall have 22 plus or minus the square root of 484 less 468. 16, correct. Then everything is over 1, 2. So it will be 22 plus or minus 4. The square root of what? 
16. Then everything divided by 2. So our first y, because our equation has y, will be 22 plus 4 over 2. And our second y will be 22 minus 4 over 2. We are going to use plus and minus to get the two values of y. So in the first case, 22 plus 4 divided by 2? 9. 9. 22 minus 4? 18 plus uh, 0 divided by 2? 9. 9. Correct. Thank you for the answers. Now, we've gotten the two values of y. Of y. We can pick any of those two equations here and be able to get the value of x or the values of x. So let's see. x plus y is equal to 17. What is our i? Our y is? So we shall say x plus 13 is equal to 1. So x is equal to 17 minus 13. And our x is 4. Now we can pick that equation again. x plus y is equal to 17. Our y is 9. So x plus 9. The answer is what? 17. We take 9 on this side, 13 on this side. So x is equal to 17 less 9. Our x is equal to 8. So when y is 13, isn't it? Our x is? Four. And when our y is 9, our x is 8. Those are your answers to that question. Very good. Very, very good.